Hello again, everyone. Now, this one is an exciting one. I am very excited about this one. It's not something I knew I wanted. Um, I just chanced upon someone who asked for something like it, and it really interested me. So now I, now I love it. So hopefully you'll enjoy it too. So this one, before I tell you what it is, came from the Capcom Unity forums. Uh, someone called Alan, so whoever you are, well done. He just posted a, a request, a very vague request, which he didn't think would actually make it. I mean, it hasn't yet, but you know what I mean. And all he put was, and then if we go off into Dreamland, how about changing EX Hadouken to fire and light punch fireball? And then you hit another button to determine the angle of the second. So if you did an EX fireball and then tapped light punch quickly, you would get two light punch fireballs. Okay, so that really interested me. So now you might be able to guess that I've modded it, of course, and... I've fallen in love with this. This is an amazing buff. Now I'm trying to keep it real and um, try and show everything that's decent about it. So you probably want to have a look at it, so let's just do that instead. Okay, so the main EX, if you just do EX normally, it's just going to come out as normal. And if you charge it to the max, it's going to come out as normal. But you can press Light Punch roughly around the time when he throws out his first fireball and he'll cancel it into a second fireball, like so. Now there are variations, you can miss the timing and you still get the normal fireball like that. But you can alter the timing, as you can see that one's quite spread apart. Um, that's because I'm leaving it to the last sort of frame that I can, there's a bit of a buffer. Uh, if you press it as fast as possible, it's very close together like so. Which is a nice little change. So as well as that you can do medium punch. Now this will fire a medium punch one of course, which, which is a little lower than the normal one um, that you fire on the EX version, and the Heavy Punch one is a little steeper than the normal EX version. So there are your three variations, which is amazing, I love that. Another thing to note is that if you charge it and release it early, you can still do a chosen Hadouken of your choice, but if you charge it fully, you can't in a minute. Now that's just because of me, I haven't adapted the code even further than that, because you're holding down all the punch buttons that you can't press other punch buttons while you're doing it. So that becomes a little bit of a limitation in that respect. So this could easily be rectified by maybe pressing the kick buttons instead or some other way, I'm not sure yet. Some more combo opportunities come available here with a double hitting fireball. Now I'm not very creative just ending it like that but I feel there might be some sort of really cool combo combinations that can be done with this. Now the combo damage scaling doesn't seem to increase for the two Hadoukens. These damaging combos seem to be extraordinarily high for just two bars of EX, so that's something which does have to be changed, which I've noticed post-production. So before I go any further, I should probably talk about balance issues. Um, if they don't want to give Gokun a two-hit in instant fireball, this is no way going to make it in, but if they don't mind that, and it was just a, a thing that they haven't quite got round to or something, then there are issues with these Hadouken setups that I've got so far which can be tweaked a little bit, which I'll talk about at the end. So my main issue is, can people avoid this move? Some variations of this Go Hadouken might not be avoidable for all characters, in which case, I don't think there's any game or any move in the game which is completely unavoidable in some respect. So that's my main aim, is to have a look for all the ways you could avoid these moves. So the first one is just light punch fireballs. If they're close together, you can lower your hitbox to go through them. It's, it's quite strict, depending on what character you are, but it is possible. Now, if they're spread apart, because that's one of the features which I seem to have at the minute, it doesn't seem possible to lower your hitbox to avoid it. Unless maybe you've got um, Blanka or Hakan's Cower type move. Now, jumping over it neutrally is possible. It's a bit strict when they're spread apart. Forward jumping is no problem, and I realise Gen might have a bit of a floaty jump, but all the characters are fine. Any moves which go through fireballs, should have no problem either. Okay, if you're a fireball character, you can easily cancel two fireballs out if you've got any extra of your own. If you haven't, you might need a really fast fireball. Sagat, I think, can do this, but Ryu can't seem to. You can't focus them because they're very close together at that particular instance. Invincible moves will go through it. Neutral jump, no problem when they're close together. Forward jumping is dangerous because we're well known for EX Tatsu in when they forward jump, so that is something you have to be careful of. We probably will try to retaliate after we're through one of these. Okay, the next thing, this is pretty simple. If you're a teleport character, you can avoid this easily. Now, I, I think I'm trying to check all the characters which don't have fireballs. 
Zangief can avoid this pretty easily. I can, can't avoid fireballs very easily at all anyway. Um, his EX slide will avoid him, but that's very specific. Akuma, he's obviously got fireballs, meterless fireballs, which can avoid this thing. And he's got a teleport of his own. He's got neutral jumps. He's got a lot of utilities to avoid this fireball. Now, Sagat has got a pretty rubbish jump, in my opinion, but he can seemingly hold his own against this. Now, he does get caught. It's quite strict when they're spread apart, but it is possible. Again, he can cancel with other fireballs of his own. He's got the X. If he's fast enough, which Sagat can be, he can do normal fireballs on his own and beat both of yours. Okay, what am I doing here? <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, okay, here we go. He does a fireball. It cancels the first one out. So I can cancel both if I'm in a fireball war. And jumping forward again, as usual. He can manage it, no problem. Dudley, another character without a fireball. He can duck under spread apart fireballs relatively easily. Uh, heavy kick, medium kick can still do it. Even light kick can uh, do that. And also, if they're spread apart, good dashes will be able to focus attack both, which is nice. Now, if you do the medium punch, one of the main issues was that you can't jump it. Uh, if you can lower your hitbox, that's great. You only need to do it on one fireball, but you can't squeeze between those two. Normally on a EX Hadouken, you could, and that bit worries me a bit, you see. So they can change stuff to make that so that's not so tight. Uh, you can dash through it easily because two different angles, it is, it is easy. Rufus can't seem to squeeze through. He can cancel one of those, as providing it's only one, he can do that. Uh, but there's no way Rufus's fat body is getting in between those two fireballs. And, and neither is Yun or Yang or anyone with a thinner body either. EX moves might get hit on the second one as well. So, you can't, you know, it's very difficult to avoid this move without taking a little bit of chip. That's what I'm kind of trying to see, because normally you can avoid moves completely if you make the right choice. Um, not all the time, depends on situations of course, but this is full screen. Uh, heavy Punch doesn't seem to have too much issue with it. It's very steep. So you can just jump it or cancel one fireball there, meterless. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I was trying to show the issues that could occur when you're having a move like this. Um, this is something I really like. I do like it. It adds a lot more flavor to his combos. He can add a lot more cool stuff. I think the damage is too high. It needs to damage scale between the two Hadoukens. But there's quite a few balance issues, things you can actually change to make it a bit more reasonable. Because I've just put it in. And it's working nice, but I haven't tweaked it in any way to make it reasonable. So one thing you could change is the frame data. That's obvious. The startup, active, and recovery frames of these fireballs. Now, at the minute, the second fireball, light punch, medium punch, and heavy punch, are normal fireballs. They just cancel into your Go Hadouken normal fireballs. You could get, you could create three separate fireballs, which do less damage and different frame data. Recover slower, maybe, because you're trying to safe if you did a... Medium punch one, it should be mega safe. Um, so you could change that by changing a whole new th set of three different fireballs. You could also change the fireball angles because the medium punch one was worrying that you can't jump over it. There's no way to escape that unless you've got lower hitbox, a way to get through fireballs. Most characters have, or a way to at least eliminate one, but some characters might not. Um, I'm not sure who, because don't forget, maybe avoid it without taking any chip is kind of what I was hoping would be the balance issue. Uh, heavy punch is way too steep, it might not be useful. So maybe tweak those a bit. I'm interested to hear your thoughts on that because if you move the medium punch one up so you can jump in between it, like where it used to be, um, you, where would the heavy punch one go? I do know sometimes Chun-Li jumps over the normal uh, second hit because she's got a really high jump, but it seems very rare that you use the heavy one then. And so, I don't know. So good, interesting stuff to change there. Also, you could change the damage of the fireball. Like I said, create a second set of fireballs with different damage, different chip damage, so it's so it's reasonable. So it's one one fireball's worth of chip damage, or and the scaling definitely needs to be changed. That was too much damage, but I haven't bothered to change that. Also, you could change the second fireball emit time. Obviously, I can vary the fireballs so they're close and they're wide apart. Now, this seems good for us, but it's creating a second layer of guessing to the opponent. So, 
So they might have to guess whether we're doing a heavy punch one, a medium punch, or a light punch one. And on top of that, we, they have to guess whether we're doing a spread apart one or a close one, which does matter in some respects if you're lowering your hitbox or jumping and stuff like that. So it might be a good tool, but if they need to balance it because they thought it was too, too complex for someone to react to, then um, maybe change the emit time so it always comes out at a certain time rather than a buffer that I had. So hopefully you really enjoyed that. It's it's an amazing thing. Um, I might make it available so people can can practice this. I've only actually got one um, thing that I practice on, and that's got all the other buffs on. So you can't realistically check this one without me editing it. So it might take a bit of time if people actually want to be able to have a practice around with this buff only, um, with the current version 2012 as well as this. Um, otherwise, you're going to get a massive fast, faster fireballs, big dive kicks, and loads of other things that I've done in all my other videos. So, yeah, tell me what you think about this. I didn't know I wanted it, but I love it now. So, I'd really like this to stay. This would be um, this would be amazing. I'd love this one. Uh, thank you for watching.